in this short table, this product ID is the primary key of this table, right? It's a short table. Now, this this product was then further categorized into what different what categories telling us that widget A is an electronic type of product, while widget B and A and D are electronic type of product, B and C are clothing type of product, and E are what glossary. So this is a good work dimension. There are further dimensions. This is just a case of just one dimension. Welcome once again to our series for Power Query Transmission in, in Power BI. Um, so the next step, uh, the last time we treated custom calling, how to use custom calling to create different um, columns and to build different um, column measures from original data. Um, the next thing we want to look at is um, data model and relationship, which is also another advanced level of data transformation in Power Query. Um, so let's go straight into it. So let's, the first thing is to first of all bring in our data. Now we're gonna work with two data here, which is one is um, the fact table, um the product no, the dimension table here. So I have fact table and dimension table. I can bring in one in two or more data set at once by using control. I'm holding control now to press the second thing. Is that correct? Okay. Okay, I think it takes one at a time. That's fine. So let's bring this one in first. Um Doing this one in. This is factable. Fact sales. Fact sales. Okay, interesting. So we'll bring the second one for our time. Why, why I'm starting from bringing it in is also to always refresh our mind on how to bring in data sets while you are still on PowerPoint, how to, how to enter data sets while you are still on PowerPoint. That's why I'm living with this way. So you get used to it. Um, Mm. Interesting. This. That is emotion. In source. Wait, what? That's right, that's right. Okay. All right. So, um, now, one thing I need to, um, how do I put this? One thing I need us to know is fact table is where all your facts are. What do you mean by facts? Like things like, you see, this is transaction ID. This is product ID. Now we have um product ID here. Those product ID are also here, telling us the product name and the categories. The product name and the categories. And one thing about this table, this table here, we can see that every product here has a unique word ID. So this is what called dimensional table because it's all about what? The dimension. What is the dimension here is what? The product. That's what it's called. Um, well, you remember when we are bringing it in, we call it what dimension product data because it's all about the product. So, in this short table, this product ID is the primary key of this table, right? It's a short table. Now, this this product was then further categorized into what different categories, telling us that widget A is an electronic type of product. Why widget B and 
A and B are electronic type of product, B and C are clothing type of product, and E are what glossary. So it's, this is a good word dimension. There are further dimensions. This is just a case of just one dimension, right? Which is fine, right? And here this is a case of what um one um one fact table. But in real life, maybe maybe we deal with like things like up to six dimensional tables and um and whatnot. But the main thing I want us to understand in fact table and dimensional table is what their relationship. You see that in dimensional table, the product ID that we see here is also in the fact table, right? But the difference is in dimensional table, they are all unique. You cannot see a repeated word key. That's why we call it primary key. So for, for the keys in the dimensional table is a primary key. But in, in those keys, which is product keys, I can use keys or ID interchangeably. So if I say product key or product ID, I mean the same thing. So those product ID, when they are in fact table, they are called foreign keys because they are what repeatable. They are not unique, but in their own table, they are unique. You can only see 101, 102, 103. But in fact, if you can see more than what more than one 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 or more we can see one oh one one oh one. But in the dimensional table, you will not see repeated words IDs because primary keys are non-unique. Sorry, are unique. Primary keys are what unique keys, while secondary or foreign keys are what non what unique means they can what repeat each other. That these are the lessons I need you to take from this. Uh, it is only a short example. Um, I mean, as time goes on, we we'll begin to do a proper projects. So you begin to see how some of these things are what are applied. Now, this particular key here, transaction key here, is what we call the primary key because each key here, there is no repeated key here. There is no what, repeated key. You see one, two, three, none of them repeated each other. That's how you know that this is the primary key of this thing. So what are the lessons to take? Primary keys are not repeatable, or in another way to say it, they are unique keys. Primary keys are unique what keys. They are not what repeatable. But secondary keys or foreign keys can be what repeatable, meaning that this is a case of one to many in terms of relationship, right? Um, I have also done something on, I've done something separately on um, this data model and relationship, which you can see the link as I'm speaking, popping up now. So you might also want to take your time to look at it, to see how I stress it in full context, just in case, right? So this is fast key. Fat key is telling us fat key. Why do we call them fat key? They are the things that tell us further things about what the dimensional or series, sorry, dimensional tables. So here I have widget A, widget, widget A, widget B. So what about them? But if I go to the fat table, you then see that it's not telling me that those products which are not linked to their product ID. Is telling me that X amount was sold and X amount was the sales. It's as simple as that. X amount was the quantity sold and X amount was what? It was the quantity, was the amount sold. So that's why we call them facts. That's where the facts are. Why the dimension is where the dimension of those keys are. That's, I think, the better way to explain this. But the, the best place to show you about data modeling and relationship is, is in the data modeling view, which we are gonna do. So when we are done with um with um your data transformation, having facts and dimensional to be you close and apply, which is exactly what we're gonna do now. When we close and apply, we see um if I bring this here. 
just before we close and apply so you can see exactly what's going on so this here now if we close and apply of all the whole transformation that we are doing so far the series they will all come down here so you see all the whole transformed table that we are that we are doing will come down here. yeah so we allow them to load i'm gonna pause this so that they can we don't we don't take time watching them loading <laughs> Okay, so um here is the the dimensional and facts that we have. So this is where I call the model view, right? Which is where you see how the relationship are built. So let's look for our queries, our data where they are. Yeah. So uh, in Power BI automatically, once Power BI senses there is a relationship between tables, automatically it will match them. Now uh, there are different types of relationship. There is one to many relationship. There is one to one relationship. There is many to many relationship. I am sure you don't wanna you don't want a situation where you have to deal with many to many relationships because that's a very complex one. In most cases where you have many to many relationships is probably an error, especially in the models, in, in data models like this. Right, only in complex situations like in days, and even in days, you you just have to um you just have to find ways like you merge them. I mean, it's not even in all cases, right? But just for you to be aware of it. And so, what I'm gonna teach you now is um for you to understand what relationship. So, in 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 when Relationship between dimensional table and fact table is always one to many. Why do you call it one to many? Remember here in the product ID, you were seeing only one one oh one and one one oh two or one one oh three. But here you can see as many as multiple one oh ones, meaning maybe pro maybe that product was bought was bought so many times by different people. Even if it's bought by one person, it could be bought by one person on a different date. All of them will still be here. So it doesn't matter. Once that thing appears more than once, that's what makes it one on many. And many is represented by a series. One while one is represented by one. So you see things like one to many relationships. And in every one to many relationship, you, the direction is always from one to the many. Look at this direction, one to the many, meaning that data is streamed from here to the facts table. So if you have, in the case where you have multiple dimensional tables, where you have multiple dimensional tables, you, you see things like um, maybe like another dimension, uh, in this as in this example, we are all, it is only a product dimension. Maybe it could be location dimension or regional dimension as whatever word you use. Um, maybe you also have customer dimension, um, um, sales rep dimension. So all these dimension is for instance, this this product dimension is everything about the product. Region will be everything about the region of either the where the customer bought it or where it was sold. Um, another dimension might be a dimension about what the salesperson, maybe either the manager or who is the manager, the manager name, the manager ID, stuff like that. Then another dimension might be about what the customer that bought it. So this can be different different dimension that is attached to what to one factor. In such um in such models we call them um um star star um star relationship right like star relationship and um, there is I'm trying to remember the word um star relationship in terms of 
are they, 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 you have different different um dimension attached to one word, one factory. They all have direct relationship with one with the factory. But there is also another model type that will cause snowflake. Another type that will cause snowflake. In such in such types, you will have things like a bridge table, which is a table that is attached to a table that is attached to the factory. So in such case, we call them like a snowflake. Um, but when all of them are directly attached to the fact table, we call them star model. You know the way you know the way star is star, like all of them are attached to the center. So we call them what? star model. Um yeah, I think that's practically what I need to explain to you. Um how are they linked? You can see the products here is linked to the products here. And like I said, I, I did this in a broader view. Um, in one of the few um, um, tutorials that we've done on, not on this series, but so far on, so far on this uh, channel. So I'll put up the link, uh, you might want to go through so you can understand the full context of data how data modeling works and relationship works. I hope um, this will, um, this helps in terms of data modeling and all that. But if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. All right. So um thank you guys and let's stay tuned again for the next for the next um, episode. <laughs>